Hi everyone, it's Ashley and I'm here today with a quick tutorial tutorial for you um, for my new layout for the cut shop and I have a little bit of a cold going on so if I sniffle or sneeze, <laughs> I'm sorry during the video, <laughs> hopefully I want. Um, I'm using the Cozy Quilt cut file um, that's new in the shop and also the Instant Camera cut file. Um, and I don't have the process of the actual layout, but I wanted to show you what I did in Silhouette Studio. Um, so I'm going to open up the files here and I'm going to use a cropping technique um, to create a heart for my layout that I want to use. So I'm going to open the Cozy Quilt Cut file and I'm just using the 12 by 12. And so I open the PNG and I'm going to trace it. Um, well, first I'm going to open the Instant Camera also because I'm just going to trace both of those at the same time. And so I'm going to copy and paste it into my other page here with the Cozy Quilt so that I can do all of these at once. And you just want to go to um, Object. And I'm so bad about like landing on the wrong things with my cursor. <laughs> so just forgive me when I don't actually go to the right button. So I go to Object and Trace. And then I want to select Trace Area. And when you do this, you want to highlight over everything. You can see if I only do part, it's only going to pick up part of it. Um, but I want to go ahead and do all of this right here. And once I have that done, I'm going to check the high pass filter box and then um, click trace under apply trace method. And then I can just get rid of the PNG images once I have that. Um, on the instant um, camera, I'm only going to use part of it um, for right now for this technique. I just want the heart. So I'm going to make that bigger. And once I have it to the size that I want it, I'm going to layer it over um, the cozy quilt background here. So I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger and move it over just to kind of see where I want it. And I'm actually going to um, do another layer of this heart. So I'm going to move it over um, and I want to create an outline for it. Um, so I do copy and paste it, which I technically didn't have to do. I don't know why I even did that. I could have just done the, um, the outline here with the outline tool. Um, only one I was using, but I did copy and paste it. So what you want to do is once you have that, just change your settings. I set mine to 225, and that gives me the outline size that I wanted. So you can see how that just fits right over that one, and it's going to give me some space to cut that when I get to that part. So now I'm going to do the cropping technique, and I get my heart back over here over the cozy quilt, and I wanted to make sure that was all cropped together so I didn't miss any of it since it was all ungrouped. So I just highlight over that and then go up to object and group that together and then I put my heart back over and now I'm ready to go to the modify window which is at the top um, of your silhouette studio and it opens up the window with the different choices and I highlight over all of those parts together and then click crop and so now you can see it has cropped that cozy quilt background into a heart shape for me and then I can put that outline that I created there with the heart and then when I'm ready to cut, it's going to cut that out for me so that I could use it wherever I want to on my layout. So you can see I can move it, um, group it together. So it's going to cut that out as one piece and you could back all those shapes if you wanted to. Um, it's just going to give you that separate heart shape where you could lay it on your layout any way you want to do it. I actually turned mine like this um, where you'll see that on the layout here at the end. I do have images of the finished layout and some close-ups. So I hope this tutorial helped to show you a cool technique that you can use in Silhouette Studio with the Cut Shop Cut Files. And you'll see all the new ones that we have in the shop here at the end of the video. And I hope you will join me for my next video. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you will subscri subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.